bad news for Mitt Romney. So he continues to be in massive trouble for his comments about the poor. And uh, he now, all of a sudden, he's realized, and you know what, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. For several days, he insisted on trying to justify it. And we showed you the justifications here. He said, oh, well, you know, talking about poor people, that's Democrats. That's what they do, which is terrible and made it worse. And then he was on a plane, and he's like, well, yeah, I mean, poor people, they got a social safety net. What do I got to worry about them for? Jesus, come on. I'm already giving them food stamps. Right? Then he got in trouble from the conservatives, and we, as we showed you yesterday, Rush Limbaugh saying, why are we talking about a social safety net? We should crush the poor even more. And now the, you know, the, uh, you know, the, his uh, conservative uh, uh, primary competitors are uh, yelling at him over it too, Santorum, Gingrich, etc. So finally, Romney has said, no mas, I will now backpedal. Let's watch. I misspoke. Uh, I've said something that, that is similar to that, but quite acceptable for a long time. And you know when you do, I don't know how many thousands of interviews, now and then you may get it wrong. And I misspoke. And, and you know what, if people are going to go after me when I make a mistake, when I, when I slip up in a word I say, even though I say I got it wrong, sorry, that's not what I meant, why, you know, that's going to be part of the political process. I understand it, and I, uh, I accept the consequence. In other words, backpedal, 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 I got to get out of here with the poor doc. I love the poor. What are you talking about? I once knew a poor dude and didn't even kick him. Wow, are you not merciful? So now here's another comment that he made. He say about the foreclosures and the housing situation. When I say don't stop the foreclosure process, what I mean by that is the best way to stop it is to get the economy going so home values rise and people get, can meet their obligations. Because, of course, this is part of his problem, because he had said, oh, the foreclosures, you should just keep on foreclosing them until they're all foreclosed, and then the market can clear up. <laughs> okay, that doesn't really help people that are in trouble, right? I mean, his sympathy for people who are struggling in this economy appears to be less than zero. It's at about negative 87%. He's like, what do you mean? We didn't even foreclose on their houses yet. Get them all out, get them all out. So now he backpedals, and he's like, well, when I say don't stop the foreclosure process, I meant stop it. You saw the, it, you put the quote up again. Look, when I say don't stop the foreclosure process, what I mean by that is the best way to stop it is, et cetera, et cetera. No, you mean don't stop it because that's what you said. God, this guy's such a shapeshifter. Uh, he's unbelievable, man. He's going to turn into that hot chick from X Men soon. All right, he's not done yet. One more. I'll go back and say it again. Uh, the, the wealthy are doing just fine. I'm not running for president for the wealthy. Oh, no. Why, why, who in the world would care about running for president for the wealthy? I'm, wor I'm worried about the, the great majority of Americans. And the, the wealthy can take care of themselves. I'm doing my very, very best to help the great majority of Americans. The wealthy? Okay. Who are they? I don't even know who the wealthy are. So who's the wealthy? Anybody know? Anybody? Who would run for those guys? His own tax plan cuts his own taxes by $4 million. Well, if you didn't care about the wealthy, why do you have a tax plan that would save your ass $4 million a year, at least? His, half of his tax plan goes towards millionaires. Wealthy, who, who in the world, golly gee willikers, who in their right mind would run for the wealthy? 10% of all the billionaires in the country have already donated to Mitt Romney. He's got 60 guys and corporations who have given him money over $100,000 a piece. Who would care about the wealthy? Golly gee, it certainly wouldn't be Mitt Romney, would it? Man, who are you kidding? This is the most disingenuous liar I have ever seen. And I, look, I've seen a lot of politics and a lot of liars. He's just not good at it. As you look at him, you go, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Nobody's buying that. Does anybody in America really believe Mitt Romney doesn't care about the wealthy? That he cares more about the poor than the rich? <laughs> oh, you've got to be one hell of a sucker to believe that.